Humble Hearts Academy, my name is Teacher Ariel and today we're going to the California Science Center. We're going to the California Science Center to learn about what animals need to live. So we'll be exploring different kinds of animals who live in different places and learning about what they need to survive. So let's get ready to go on our field trip. But first, we need to double check we have everything. Mask, check. Shoes, check. Let's go. Today we're at the California Science Center. But before we go in, I'm going to see if I'm strong enough to lift that car. Uh, I did it. Uh, let's head on in. Where to start first? Level one, two, or three? Hmm, let's go to ecosystems. Follow me. Ecosystems are environments where all living things live. They adapt, evolve, and they're diverse. So let's head on in and see what different ecosystems different animals live in and what they need to survive. Ooh. Some are dry, rocky, wet. Here we are at the desert ecosystem. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, I think I see something in there. What could it be? It's a tortoise. It's inside its shelter. Hmm, can't get a close look. But that's okay. Tortoises live in desert. What do you think they need to survive? Will they need shelter? Just like this one, they burrow inside, underground. They also need food like desert plants and cactuses. I see some lettuce there and water, which they drink from plants or sometimes bowls. Oh, here is a lizard. Let's see what it needs to survive. The same thing. Very healthy. Here we have the beetles. These beetles seem to be searching around for food. It looks like there's a cactus inside of there. Yeah, they're eating the cactus. The cactus also has water inside it, so they might be getting their water from the cactus as well. Ooh. Oh, I see some blueberries. <laughs> Here's another critter. And it looks like they're also exploring the cactus. <gasps> Cactuses are all over the desert, which provide food and water for many animals and insects. Ooh. <laughs> Here we have some ants wandering around. They are also looking for food and water. They also have a shelter. They, just like tortoises, burrow underground. Oh, do we spot any food? There's some fruit. Now we're heading to the kelp forest. Hmm, what can we see here? Oh, if we explore inside the curator's lab, we can see some critters inside. Let's see what else we can spot. Hmm, here's the sea star. What do you think a sea star needs to survive? Look at that. Oh, wow, look how it moves along the sand and inside the water. It's using the tiny feet under its rays to help it move. Incredible! Now, what do you think sea stars need to live? Well, where do they live? 
Well, let's take a look. They live near oceans, rocks, tide pools, and they also need shelter, which is by the rocks. They eat food, such as animals, like mussels and sea urchins, and they also need water to stay alive. Ooh, what do we see here? I see fish. Lots of fish. Whoa. Let's take a closer look. Look over there. Hmm, Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> what else can we see? Kelp. Lots of kelp everywhere. And coral. And more and more fish. How beautiful. Let's. Let's take a look inside. Oh, I can see a huge fish. Do you see it coming? There it is. Urgh. No, this fish is really peaceful. And look, here are some shrimp. Look at these shrimp. They also need water to survive. And where do you think their shelter is? It's the kelp! Whoa! Here we have some jellyfish. These are called moon jellyfish. They like to eat drifting plants and animals. They get caught on its gooey bill. Little hairs slide that food down, around, and into the jelly's mouth. Yum! Let's look at some fish close up. Look at that one, it's black. The other one is yellow, and I think I see a blue one. I don't know. <laughs> Here we have the Garibaldi. What do you think the Garibaldi needs to survive or to live? Shelter, they hide in kelp for shelter. They also eat food like ocean organisms, algae, and sponges. And they need water to live in and swim around. Now let's head to the rot room. Without rot, the world would really be icky. Living things depend on the creatures who make the rot happen. Things like fallen trees or fruits like strawberries and pumpkins need to rot away to help things like plants grow. Let's take a closer look at these critters in here and how they help with the rotting process. These are called sow bugs. What can you see the sow bugs eating? They're eating carrots and melons. Hey, they also need food to survive. <laughs> Another animal that helps with rot is a millipede. They live in forest floors and they need shelter. They burrow underground for shelter like the sow bugs. Sow bugs, just like millipedes, also need food, as you can see here. They eat things like dead plants or some fruits and carrots. They also need water that they drink from the ground. Now, what do you think we need to survive? Well, here they're eating a sandwich, apples, and bananas, and they're also drinking water. Hey! We need to eat food, drink water, and we also need shelter to help us live. Wow, amazing. Well, I think it's lunchtime for me. I need to live and eat lots of food. Well, my friends, I'll see you next time.